What's up, Three Pound Nation? We're back on the lake. Can't wait to show you what's going on here weather-wise. We got a super big temperature drop, man. We are down to some like 73 degree temperature right now, and it is freaking phenomenal. So we're gonna get out of here in this high wind. It's kind of high wind, 15 mile an hour. That's high wind for me. And uh, we got this cool, I mean, just cloud coverage. Everything is cooled off really nice. I mean, I'm talking major temperature changes. So last episode, we talked about barometric pressure, pressure and all that good stuff. Well, today we're gonna to talk about temperature changes. And last time I was on the water, it was roughly around 85 degrees. And I guarantee you, it's cooled off significant since then. Big rains, big cool off. So uh, let's see how this affects the bite. Let's put some fish in the boat and have some fun. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Here we go. All right, so right off the bat, we noticed the water temperature has changed about almost uh, three to four degrees for sure. It's gonna stabilize here shortly. I get a lot of questions about my uh, depth here. Yes, it's wrong, something's not right. I have no idea why. Uh, it jumps back and forth, but honestly, it doesn't bother me, people. It really just doesn't. Um, I'm still looking for the surface when it comes. So I know the surface right now is somewhere down here. There it is. Um, so I, I, don't, I honestly don't even pay attention to that ever. It's kind of funny how I don't notice it, but other people do. So, but I will have people, Garmin, look at it when um, after the season. To be honest with you, that's when I'm going to address it. But I don't even really care about it then to be quite honest with you maybe i should care i don't know all right so this episode is going to be about water temperature and how it impacts the bite now during the summer obviously water gets warm fish get lethargic it's a much tougher slower bite the ideal temperature in my personal opinion is 55 degrees i like it We're square in the middle in the 50s and so people always ask me what's the best time to go crappie fishing look at that that's what we're always looking for guys right there um, and i always say november through april because um, that's when that water temperature is sitting typically in that water that, that that temperature and i love it it's um there it is first fish of the day All right, um, I just love a cold water crappie. I like to keep cold water crappie, and I think they're way more aggressive. Um, now you get too cold, it kind of changes, but to be quite honest with you, even too cold crappie, like really cold water, 40 degrees type stuff, um, those fish are still super active, and uh, they're there ready to eat. Typically, you know, we're still kind of pre-spawn at that point. Um, They are loving this temperature change. Man, you gotta love it. So, water temperature. For me, it's 55. Time frame, it's November through April. Um, and, you know, it's all great fishing. It's just kind of your techniques and the way you're presenting the fish is really what's changing. Um, Right now I'm, I'm fishing with this hair jig. This pink one was kind of part of my last episode. And I'm, I'm look at this, man, they are aggressive. And I'm loving it. Um, so, and, they're, and they're, they're going after a moving bait too. This water temperature, like I said, it's dropped three degrees. At least three or four, probably more like four or five, to be quite honest with you. You have to check back in my last episode to check out what the temperature was on that. So yeah, I look for temperatures roughly around the 50s. Anything in the low 60s is fantastic. Uh, of course, every season, you know, we know when the spawn starts, when that water temperature gets up there in that low 70s, that sweet spot there. Of course, we always look forward to that. But for me, it's 55. Cooler the, the water, the better, the more active the fish are going to be. Typically, we're in a pre-spawn scenario. Um, but I'll tell you, the drastic dip in temperature today has definitely added to the aggressiveness of the fish. So that's awesome. Maybe they maybe they know fall's coming. I don't I don't know, but we're still targeting those fish in the dirt. That's definitely the what we're trying to do right now. So good time. Got all the jigs, everything's locked and loaded. Got the hammer 10. You guys check out that hammer 10 now, I'm gonna tell you right now. But we're gonna hit another spot right now, try a different part of the lake, see if anything's different there.
All right, man, what a good bite tonight. All right, so let's say the day. We're in the middle of the day. We're still at the middle of the day, kind of. Early evening. Good fish there. Now what I've elected to do is to switch off to a paddle tail. Give myself a little bit more action. And we're seeing if it works. guy again it's a casting slow retrieval playing the screen a lot of times i'm not feeling these bites at all i'm literally just playing the screen if i think they've closed the gap on it i go ahead and i pull that's a big thing people don't realize a big important thing is that especially during this these summer months these fish will not chomp on it at least not on my leg so you have to play the screen to some extent, at least a majority of the time. I'm not saying there's not those aggressive fish there, but they, a lot of times if you want a good live well of fish, you're gonna have to play the screen and anticipate the bite opposed to having to feel it. All right guys, well that's gonna end it, man. It was a great day. I'm, I think I'm gonna go in. Like I said, these, these summer episodes are gonna be a little shorter than normal, but I'm gonna go and take a break. I think I'm gonna actually do a night episode next. I think that would be pretty cool. So uh, I don't typically fish at night. It's not my thing, but I might just come back out here and do that. So look for that episode coming up. And uh, again, please share and subscribe, Three Pound Fishing. We've got a, a lot of things coming up, a lot of new products that are be, gonna be uh, introduced. Um, obviously those nasty jigs are just coming out and um, new three, three Pound Fishing rods, baby. Love it. So appreciate you guys' support. Truman's next up on the Crappie Masters Elite Series. So uh, anyway, thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching.